Hi, First Step friends and families. I miss you all so much, but I want you to meet a very close friend of mine. His name is Walter. Here's Walter. He is a aquatic turtle, and he will be joining us today on our craft. And we are going to be making blown coral reef. So what you're gonna need to make your own coral reef at home is some construction paper, scissors, glue, markers, or crayons. You will also need a straw. You will also need either paint or watercolors. I'm going to be using watercolors, but you can use paint. You just need to add some water to your paint just to kind of water it down a little bit. But let's get started. Okay, so I'm all set up and ready to go now. I have blue construction paper for water. It's a little wet right now, but that's okay, it'll dry. And I have brown to make the bottom for my uh, ocean. So I'm gonna cut out a piece for the bottom of my ocean out of the brown paper. And this will be the base of my coral reef on in my ocean, okay? So I'm gonna glue that down. Oop, need some glue. I'm just gonna take just a little bit, cross the bottom of my blue paper for my coral reef. All right, for the base of my coral reef. Spread that around a little bit. So I'm going to add my base to my coral reef. And there we go. That's exciting, okay. Next step, we are going to use our watercolors and we are going to spread out our watercolor with a straw. So you're gonna take your straw and you're gonna dip it in your uh, color. I'm gonna start with the color orange. And I'm just dipping my straw down in it, getting it nice and wet. And I'm going to put it on the paper right where my base of my coral reef is. And I'm going to make a wet dot. And then I'm going to use the straw and blow the uh, water, the paint, away from the base of our ocean. And I'm gonna use some more orange. And now to switch colors, I'm gonna dip my straw into my water, clear it off and get a new color. And this time I'm gonna use green, I think. Just make a little Put on my paper. And I'm gonna use each color probably twice because I want my coral reef to be the extra colorful. And it's okay if your coral reef touches each other, like your colors touch each other, that's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna use blue right beside my green. It's definitely harder than it looks, but I know y'all's will come out great. Okay, now I'm gonna use purple. Can you see Walter back there? Oh, there he is. Hi, Walter. All right. Purple right beside my blue color. And lastly, I'm going to use green. Green is my favorite color.
my coral reef is done. It's not going to take very long for it to dry, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. This is my coral reef, but I have some more excitement to go along with our coral reef. Down in the description, I'm going to leave a link for printables for either colorful ones or non-colorful ones. So you can either uh, do the black and white and color them yourself like I did, or you can use the ones that are already colored and you can glue them to your coral reef. So here are mine. And these fish actually live in the coral reef. So use your printables and glue them to your paper. So I'm just gonna take some glue, put on the back of my fish, just a little bit. There's one. I think you guys have seen this fish before. Yeah, in a movie maybe. This is a clown fish. I'm gonna add him to my coral reef too. I'm gonna add him down real close to the bottom. Okay. There's four fishes on the printable, but I'm only gonna use three. Last fish. All right. Actually, I have space for my last fish. I'm gonna go ahead and add him. I didn't think I'd have space, but I do. Finished product. Our coral reef with our fishes. What do you think, Walter? Do you like it? I think he likes it. Well, I hope you have fun making your own blown coral reef. I hope to see you all very soon. Say bye, Walter. Bye, guys. See you soon.